welcome to the channel. This is Jess. Today we are going to follow a tutorial from Kate Emerald's tutorial playlist while only using base game items. We will test out the Curvy Bridge tutorial, which I will have linked below. Now I did this off screen, but before you start, you want to add the cheat codes BB Move Objects, BB Show Hidden Objects, and BB Show Live Edit Objects. This will help you place down the bridge. First, you want to make a wall. Why didn't it use the preset already square? Walls? I don't know. I like to make my life more difficult. Finally got a perfect square. Now you want to place a floor pattern on top of the wall. You might need to grid up so you don't place it on the wrong level like I did. Then delete the walls you made and you will have a floating floor that you can adjust the level of. Once I figure out how to put the wall back on top. There's it. There we go. Now it's gone. <laughs> I went very slow with this. I had no idea what I was doing for the most part. But, um, yeah, I'm showing you here now how you can move it up and down. Um, and it doesn't change anything about it. There's nothing under it or whatever. If you try to do this with it on the ground level, when you try to lift it up, it will add the bottom floor piece to it. So this way you don't have that problem. Here I decided to um, add a pole underneath the bridge just for effect. Really no other reason. You don't have to do that. Um, I just thought it would be neat. I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, she didn't do it in her tutorial. Uh, she was just making it a strict tutorial on how to do, how to make a bridge and how to sim walk across it. So, um, now I went over, now you stretch out the floor to a bigger piece to expand it and then you go to the search and um, Kate typed in search lamp I must have missed the lamp part because I just put in search or I just put in world and I'm doing this in base game only. I believe she used a pack um, eco lifestyle I believe or eco living I, I don't know what the pack's called I don't have it but I figured I'll just do this in base game because there are other packs I do have that I could have used but for, this might be easier for people that just have base game, don't have any packs. It might be easier to see and then you can duplicate that with packs or whatever when that comes about. This, I cut this out. I thought I cut more of this out. Searching for the base game bridge crossing. It took forever. Now, the show show live edit objects will show you all the debug objects that are placed around the world in the game um, and you can use them what i should have done instead of put world is um, put debug in the search that way it would only show you the debugged items that are used in the world um, it would have made the search a lot uh, faster than me scrolling through every single item from any packs I have, all, although I did cl click base game. So from everything in the base game, including the stuff used around the world that you don't normally get to place and stuff. It took a long time <laughs> to try to find uh, where this was. I should be coming up on it soon. It's close to the bushes and stuff. Um, 
but yeah I would recommend just typing debug in there instead of um, world lamp although maybe if I would have added the lamp it would have just been um, only the debug items I just typed the world in and it gave me everything so I didn't realize it at the time of course going back and editing this I realized oh I didn't do that right but you know that's what this is for I'm, I'm testing out her tutorial to see how easy it is to follow how she does a great job too I, I, I love watching her builds and it's just amazing she, if you've watched any of her um, speed builds it it's gorgeous and half the stuff she does she's like how did you do that this is sense so I'm actually learning quite a bit I learned a lot of tricks that I didn't know and now that I made that um, house for my rags to riches let's play I'm gonna do I'm like I want to go back and fix it now <laughs> I'm gonna go back and do all the tricks I learned just from the first tutorial that she had put out I can't I can't I don't even know when she put that out oh I finally found it okay now for these um, bridge tiles they were only one little square piece so what you do to rise them up is you push the um, brackets on the keyboard to make them bigger or smaller let me see if I can quickly find um, when that video came out I've been watching a lot of videos because I think I'm going to live stream this the shell challenge so oh did I miss something else in here while I'm trying to look um, now I'm just trying to place the uh, bridge tile on the floor now because this is a base game item it is actually flat on the surface um, but if you have like she had the eco lifestyle or whatever it wouldn't go on the flat surface so she had to rise it up or down um, so you would have to put it on the ground and then rise it up so the sim will walk across it um, and that was the um, control 9 or 0 that would rise it up or down but with this base game one you don't have to do that Okay, so let's see if I can do this without it playing in the background. She made the Kirby Bridge tutorial in this month, or last month, uh, June 30th, 2020. So it's one of the new ones. I went to the bottom of the playlist thinking I was uh, starting with older ones and it's actually the newer ones. So, oh well we'll go from new to old then um, testing out her tutorials um, but I will link um, her curvy bridge tutorial as well so you can actually she she does a very good job explaining what she's doing while she's doing it Trying to figure out how to rotate these objects without it snapping to the grid was actually kind of hard. Now, if you just hit, um, alt, was it Alt, and you move it around, that's fine. Uh, that's actually kind of easy. But when you hit Alt and then the and left click at the same time to try to rotate the object to get it to turn. That was hard. I was, I, it took me a while to figure out where it was rotating from so I could angle it correctly. I think it is rotating from the center of the object. Um, but I, I'm, I wonder if it's also 
a little more difficult because I sized up the object as well. So maybe the rotation was kind of hard. As you can see, I'm going very slow and I did speed this up like 20 times. <laughs> I sped it up. That's just how slow I was trying to get this right. Um, and you can tell as it goes, if I didn't cut it out or speed it up too fast, that, um, yeah, there I go. I sped it up super fast. That's 20 times. Okay, so before that was regular speed. I, I start to get the hang of it. Not taking me too long, although it still took me pretty long like if you watch Kate's video which wasn't her first tutorial she does it in no time like it, it's she makes it look so easy <laughs> and it's really nice once you figure it out I mean it's pretty cool the wall tool to delete floors that's a trick I didn't know how to do until this uh, tutorial. So that's pretty cool. Although this, the cutout of the floor was very hard to do because you have to keep some of that ceiling under that bridge so the sim will walk across it. And trying to take, uh, or take out the floor that's peeking out was very hard to do like it it's not smooth at all not the way hers looks like you could still see some floors sticking out and I'm sure when you're doing this with the design you can cover certain parts of it up no one would notice or anything like that I mean it's such a tiny part of it I struggled for quite a while trying to get that that little bit of floor off of there now, I struggle with this bit too. I was on the wrong level and did not realize it. And the floor piece would not go down. You need to place another floor. That's where you're gonna attach the steps so the Sims can walk across. I put one on each end so that they had a, um, I put that one on the wrong level. I have to work with the grid quite a bit. It's like, what is going on? I think it was at the end of the lot and that's why it wasn't working. I needed to move it over more or something. I, I picked like the smallest lot to build this on. N not necessarily a big deal. I should have made it more of a curve and then I wouldn't have had an issue. I had so much space to move it over though. <laughs> but eh, you live and learn, right? This is you, you learn from your mistakes and I learned quite a bit from my mistakes on this. Um, but yeah, now you, you add the stairs to the floors you just added. I tried to make it look a little better without all that overhang, but it just didn't work. So the main part is uh, trying, <laughs> yeah, I deleted it, um, trying to get it symmetrical. That's just me being crazy. <sighs> did I grid back up? I can't tell. I don't think I did. <laughs> I need, there we go. Um, but then I just like, you know what? It's a tutorial to test things. It doesn't have to look perfect because I'm just testing. So eventually I just grab any old sim, I can't even remember this guy's name, it's not one I play. I just wanted to test and for some reason it wouldn't let me bring one of the ones I had already. It must have been because I went straight into build mode instead of um, going through a character. So I had to create a character specifically for this. So he is going to be our tutorial tester. I should probably remember his name since that is going to be his title now. As you can see, I don't know if it does that on purpose. It didn't do it on um, Kate's uh, video, but the 
bridge is darker where there's still flooring underneath. I don't know if it was the lighting or not, um, or is, if because I had a pool underneath, so it was reflecting, which sounds like something in real life, not something that should be in a simulation, but that's a good simulation because that's what would happen in real life. The light would reflect off the water. But uh, also, I'm doing this. I'm trying to place a floor piece, um, the triangle one. If you accidentally delete too much of the floor because the sim needs that to go across you can just add the triangle piece to try to mend that part you you took off and then just try to delete around the triangle that is sticking out i didn't have luck with that it's what you're supposed to be able to do now i didn't have any missing pieces the sim walked across perfectly fine My deleting process first, I forget to hit the alt to delete to show and you'll know because it'll have an X at the wall icon which is actually being covered up by the money symbol. All right everyone, um, I think this is it for the tutorial. If you want to go check out Kate Emerald's uh, Kirby Bridge tutorial, I will link that below again. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to hit that uh, like button. Also click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy. Bye. Have a great day.